Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my lawlessness. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with your sovereign spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall ring out your justice. Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if I would have given it. You will not take pleasure in burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit. A humbled and contrite heart God will not spurn. Deal favorably, O Lord, with Sion in your good pleasure, and let the walls of Jerusalem be rebuilt. Then you will be well pleased with a sacrifice of justice, oblations, and whole burnt offerings. Then they will lay calves upon your altar. Page number 13, third odd. Holy are you, Lord, it is you that my spirit praises. My heart is established in the Lord, my horn is exalted in my God, my mouth is enlarged over my enemies, I am glad in your deliverance. No one is like the Lord, there is no one righteous like our God, there is, o there is no one holy besides you. Do not boast in pride, do not speak lofty things in the excess of arrogance, do not let boastful talking come forth from your mouth. Because the Lord is a God of salvage and a God who pride. The bow of the mighty has become weak, the weak have girded themselves with power. For the barren woman has borne seven children, while she who is rich with many children is weakened. Some he causes to be poor and others to be rich. He brings one low and lifts up another. Yes, from the dunghill and treats them as the mighty of the people, seating the poor to inherit the mighty one's thrones of glory. He grants his prayer to the one who prays and even blesses the years of the righteous. The mighty shall not be strong in his own strength. The Lord will weaken his adversary. The Lord is holy. Let not the wise one boast in wisdom. Let not the mighty boast in might. Let not the rich boast in riches. The Lord has gone up into the heavens and has thundered. He will judge the ends of the earth, for he is righteous. There is no one holy like you, O Lord, my God, who raised the horn of your faithful, O good one, and have established us on the rock of our knowledge in you. God, the God of Israel is wonderful among his holy ones. Your martyrs, having fought the good fight, suffered lawfully, O giver of life, and you crowned them with the laurels of victory, and they fervently mediate everlasting deliverance to the faithful ones who have departed this life. He have wrestled unto the souls of your departed servants. At first you tried to instruct me who went astray with many signs and wonders, but finally in your awesome compassion you emptied yourself. You looked for me, you found me, and you saved me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In your mercy, guarantee to the souls which have left this unstable, passing, and corruptible life a place of joy in the eternal mansions of heaven, since they have been justified by faith and by grace, O oh good one. Now and ever unto ages of ages, amen. There is no one as pure as you, O most pure mother of God. For in all the course of time, no one but you has ever conceived in her womb. 
the true God who shatters the power of death. How to love things he meant in vain lies his body passing dream in a shadow. For when everyone born into this world drop themselves, just that the Holy Scriptures maintain, there comes a time when we seem to gain the ball, only to take our place in the grave with skins and beggars. And so Christ our God, give rest to your dear servants who have departed this life, since you truly are the lover of mankind. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages, ages, amen. Most holy Theotokos, do not forsake me all the days of my life. Do not entrust me to the protection of mortal man, but in your mercy come and stand by me. Page number 26, oh, from out of the sea monster Jonah cried aloud and said, I cried aloud in my affliction unto the Lord my God, and he heard me. Out of the womb of Hades you heard my cry and my voice. It cast me over the rest of the heart of the sea, and the clouds surrounded me. All your billows and your waves passed over me. I said I am banished from the sight of your eyes. Will I indeed ever again look over your holy temple? Water is poured out about me as far as my life. The deepest abyss surrounds me. My my head has gone down into the crevices of the mountains. I went down into the earth whose bars are everlasting barriers. When my soul was fainting within me, I remembered the Lord. Yes, let my prayer come unto you, even unto your holy temple. They they observe any false things, have abundant mercy for themselves. But as for me, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving will I sacrifice unto you. Whatsoever I have vowed for my deliverance, I will pay unto you, O Lord. Behold in the sea of life surging on high, with the storm of temptation, I flee to your tranquil haven, crying out to you, deliver my life from corruption, most merciful Lord. God, the God, God of Israel, Israel is wonderful, is wonderful among, among his holy ones. ones. You gather the core of martyrs to yourself, when you were nailed to the cross, and now they imitate your passion, O good one. And so we sing to you, give rest to the ones brought into your presence. Give rest to, O Lord, to the souls of your departed servants. When you shall come again in your ineffable glory, with frightening majesty upon the clouds of heaven to judge the whole world, Enable your faithful servants, whom you have summoned from the earth, to meet you, the Deliverer in radiance. Glory, Glory be to, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the fountain of life, and in your divine courage, O Master, you set the captives free. Establish in the joy of paradise your servants who have departed to you in faith. Now and ever unto ages of faith, amen. We are returned to the earth because we have ignored the divine commandments of God. But through you, O Virgin, we ascend from earth to heaven, shaking off the corruption of death. To the souls of your servants, O Christ, grant rest among the saints, where there is no pain, no sorrow, no mourning, but only life is of heaven. You only are immortal, the architect and creator of humanity, for we mortals were fashioned from earth, and to the earth we shall return again. For you who created me, world, and said, You are earth, and to earth you shall return. And so as we mortals make our way there, with mournful sighs we sing the victory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Page 
Krishna, number 27. With him let us magnify that he talk us and the mother of life. My soul, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. Because he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his love is from generation to generation to those who fear him. He has shown might in his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seat and has exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his love. As he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited and worked the deliverance for his people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke through the mouths of his holy prophets of old, that he would be saved, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us to deal mercifully with our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant us to be delivered out of the hands of our enemies, that we might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness in the sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, John the Baptizer, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sins, through the bowels of the mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. It is impossible for people to see God when even angelic ranks dare no gaze upon Him. But to you, most pure lady, the world was revealed in flesh to all people. Praise Him with the heavenly armies, we glorify you. God, the God of Israel is wonderful among His holy ones. Hope strengthened the core of martyrs, as if angelic wings were added to their burning love for you. The sign of future rest which cannot be shaken. May your departed servants attain such rest also, O good one. Give rest, yes, the Lord, to the souls of your departed servants. Graciously grant that your departed servants may share your dazzling and divine radiance and rest in the bosom of Abraham, O Christ. Since you are uniquely merciful, grant them eternal blessedness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. By nature gracious, merciful, and kind, you are a veritable ocean of tenderness. You have called your servants from this veil of malice and the shadow of death. Settle them in the place where your light shines. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Pure Lady, we recognize you as the holy tabernacle, the ark, the tablets of the law and grace. Forgiveness has come through you to those justified in the blood of the one who took flesh in your womb, most pure Lady. It is truly right to bless you as the Theotokos, as the ever-blessed, immaculate Mother of God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more far more glorious than the seraphim, without corruption you gave birth to God the Word,
God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Love and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Trinity, most holy, have mercy on us. Cleanse us of our sins, O Lord. Pardon our transgressions, O Master. Look upon our weaknesses and heal them, O Holy One, for the sake of your name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. the just spirits who have reached their end. Give repose to the souls of your servants, O Savior, keeping them in the happiness of life in your presence. All you who love mankind in your abode, O Lord, where all the saints repose. Give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone love mankind. into Hades and loose the chains of those in bondage also to the souls of your servants O Savior give repose now and ever and unto ages of ages Amen only chaste and immaculate virgin who gave birth to God without seed intercede before him for the salvation of their souls have mercy on us, O God, in the greatness of your compassion, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, let us pray for the blessed repose of the souls of all who have fallen asleep throughout the ages in the true faith, in the hope of resurrection and eternal life. Our fathers and brothers and sisters, the founders, benefactors of this holy house, our parents and relatives according to the flesh, those who are buried here, enrolled here, and for Orthodox Christians everywhere, and for the forgiveness of the offenses, voluntary or involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. That the Lord God may play their souls for all the Holy and just repose. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask Christ, our immortal King, and our God, for the mercy of God, for the King of Heaven, and the forgiveness of their sin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God, of spirit of flesh, you trample death. You made the dead powerless, and you gave life to your all. Now, O Lord, to the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep, grant rest in the place of light, a place of virtue, a place of tranquility from which pain, sorrow, and mourning have fled. And the good and loving God forgive every sin of thought, word or deed they have committed. There is no one who will live and will not sin, for you alone are sinless. Your justice is an everlasting justice, 
and your word is truth. For you, O Christ, our God, of the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants, who have fallen asleep, we give glory to you together with your eternal Father, your most holy, good, Lord, giving spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, our most holy, the talk of save us. More honorable than the cherubim, in my far more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. All truth fail to us, we magnify you. Glory be to you, Christ our God, our hope. Glory be to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Christ our true God, risen from the dead, trampled dead by death, and to those in their tombs, giving life. With power over the living and the dead, through the praise of his most pure, immaculate mother, of the holy glories, proffer and baptized of the Lord John, who shed tears, of the holy glories, of oppressed warrior apostles, of our venerable God, the fathers and mothers, who struck and shone forth in us at the seas, and of all the saints, will play the souls of his servants, which they have departed from us in the abodes of the just, and will give them rest in the bosom of Abraham, and number them among the just, and will have mercy on us, and save us, for he is a good and lost man. In blessed sleep, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to you ever to be remembered, servants who are enrolled here, and may they memory ever last since the three which know you upon me. Ти ми упокой хри